An important skill in the Entrepreneurially Minded Engineers Toolkit is idea generation, or ideation. Most people just refer to this as brainstorming, but brainstorming is just one ideation technique, although it's by far the most popular. Unfortunately, the data is out. Brainstorming alone is very limited, especially if you want to generate new and novel ideas, and lots of them. The limitation with brainstorming is that we rely on information that's already in our brains, so we're not necessarily making new connections and gaining new insights. So let's talk about one of my favorite ideation techniques, by association. By, two things, and association, a connection or a relationship that together have the potential to create something new. Let me give you an example. Let's say that we're a manufacturer of stethoscopes and we want to generate ideas for new and improved stethoscopes that offer more value to our customers and hopefully increase sales for us. When I use traditional brainstorming with teams, we typically get these kinds of ideas. Let's make the chest piece out of a material that's not quite so cold. Let's add a warm-up station into the doctor's office. Let's make these ear tips more comfortable. Let's replace the tubes with Bluetooth technology. Let's use Bluetooth earbuds like the ones I use at the gym. Let's make throwaway covers to reduce the spread of germs. Now these are good ideas, but they're not game-changing ideas. And this is because when we're brainstorming, we're so focused on the existing stethoscope and what we already know. With by association, we start by putting the stethoscope aside, and we concentrate on a stimulus that we add to the ideation process. The stimulus can be anything, a picture, an object, an animal, a piece of art. More importantly, it can be related to the ideation subject, like other medical devices, or better yet, it can be totally unrelated to the stethoscope and chosen completely at random. The best and most unique ideas nearly always come from unrelated random stimulus. So the first step in the by association process, assuming you already have your objective clearly defined, is to choose the stimulus. For example, I needed some stimulus for an ideation session the other day, so I just grabbed this off my desk. The second step in the by association process is for the facilitator to introduce the stimulus and get the group to focus on everything we know about or are reminded of by the stimulus, and we capture all this on a whiteboard. So here's what the list looks like. It's a bag. It's soft. It's made out of cloth. It has drawstrings. It's gray, and it's black. It reminds me of a jewelry bag. It reminds someone else of an earbud bag. It reminds me of a rock collection bag. Let's see what's inside. It's a blue cube. It's metal. It has various logos and markings. It looks like a speaker. And of course, a speaker has a magnet, a coil, and a cone. On the back here, it has an on-off switch. So there's likely a battery inside. It has a USB plug for connecting with a computer for charging and playing music. It also has a headphone plug, which can be used for other devices like smartphones or other music devices. And it plays music. And now for the third step in the by association process, generating ideas that make associations or connections between an improved stethoscope and our items on the stimulus list. Here's some examples of ideas generated by a typical team. We could connect the chess piece directly to the speaker cube, so our whole stethoscope is just this. By using the cube, everyone could hear the heartbeat or lungs. We could have the chess piece communicate directly to a computer. We can record the heartbeat for the medical record. We could send the heartbeat directly to the computer and develop software to analyze and display information about the heartbeat. Since the heartbeat is recorded, we could easily get second opinions from specialists. We could record and generate a database of heartbeats with known medical conditions and unique signatures. We could create a new service that analyzes heartbeats that are emailed to us. What if the cube was super cheap so people could use it at home to record their heartbeats? And so on. Do you see what's happening here? This is awesome. Since we divert our focus from the stethoscope to focus on the cube, we're opening our minds to new associations and new connections. It's powerful. And we don't stop here. No, no, no. Now we introduce a new stimulus, something completely unrelated to the first, and it can be anything. You might be laughing, but I'm very serious. Antibacterial shark skin, tiny as a grain of sand. 
It's fun, so a fun stethoscope for kids. Sound travels faster and farther in water. Getting the idea? Remember, we're after both quality and quantity of ideas, and there's bound to be a gold nugget or two when our list reaches 100 or so. Now don't get me wrong, brainstorming is a great place to start. In fact, I start all my ideation sessions with silent brainstorming so that everyone has a chance to get their current ideas on the table. So your mission is to facilitate a by association session of your own using random stimulus. Just do it. It's fun and you'll be surprised at the outcome. And of course, like any skill, it gets better with practice. Choose a stimulus, capture what you know about it, and generate ideas that make connections. By association is a cool tool to have in your entrepreneurially minded toolkit.